Welcome to CW Hip Hop Live Podcast, episode 86. I'm your host, DJ Bank. As always, I'm joined here by co-host Darky and Prism. Hey, yo, yo, yo. Sorry, yo. I was liking, liking people's <laughs> messages on Instagram. Yeah, if you want to join us live, we go live on Instagram every Wednesday, a little after 8 o'clock for the podcast, <laughs> uh, 7 o'clock for the live DJ. We do have special guests in here coming up from Milwaukee, Too High. How's it going? Tell the chat where they can find you, all that. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram at I'm underscore Too High. That's 2-H-I. Uh, somebody's mic unmuted. I'm chilling. Yeah, they're all unmuted. Oh, great. Is one not working? One's not working. Awesome. Great. Well, at least there's only 45 seconds in. At least there's only 45. Yep. Is it picking up so right here? We'll be back on cwhipbob.com. Don't worry, guys. We're chilling. <laughs> Better catch it now. All right, so remember what you said? We're going to say the same number. <laughs> I'm just I mean, we will go through the yeah. same shit, but like, yeah. All right, everybody's mic is unmuted at the moment. <laughs> yes. Should be yes, unmuted. You're good. Yep. You're good. Solid. Used to pop beans and hit the scene. I got my folders. They're all up. Let's go. Now I'm waking bake, say to say. I'm just a stoner. <laughs> hop inside the caddy and I'm fucking up my dojo. Oh, I hope that didn't mess with the crack. There's some money as he goes. One way to find out. Get a close up. Damn. I wrote that actually, so. Just the fuck out of Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were fucking, I knew you were fucking with us. That's funny as hell. Welcome to CW Hip Hop's live podcast, episode 86. Yo. I'm your host, as always, BVNC. Joined here, I have Darky and Prism. Welcome. What's, What's going on, guys? We also have special guests here, Too High from Milwaukee. We do. Tell the listener where they can find you, uh, all platforms. Yo, you can find me on Instagram at I'm underscore Too High. Uh, it's 2HI. That's TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and, you know, it's, uh, if you want to find me on music platforms, it's going to be just Too High. Just too high, two H I. All right, uh, make sure you guys go follow him. He's got some great music. We're gonna be talking about that. Uh, first up, though, we do have some announcements here. We want to thank our sponsors for CW Hip Hop, Northern Noise Mixing and Mastering. They're currently building out a premier recording studio in Chippewa Valley. It's gonna be called Hollywood Recording Company. Their motto is Small Town, Big Sound. You can follow them right now on Instagram at Hollywood Recording Company. That's H A L L I E Wood Recording Company. And message them. Let them know that CW Hip Hop sent you their way so that they know their ads are getting in front of the right people. Also, thank you to our second sponsor here, Chop Shop Barbershop in Plover, Wisconsin. Are you looking for a unique experience while getting a fresh haircut? Schedule your next appointment at the Garage Theme Barbershop in Plover. More information and a link to schedule your appointment is on our homepage at CWHipHop.com or you can check them out on Instagram or other social medias at Chop Shop Barbershop. Tell them that CW Hip Hop sent you their way so you get the uh, best experience. Also, thank you to our Patreon listener tiers, Danielle Garkey and Maverick Wire. We appreciate you guys supporting CW Hip Hop. So we do these interviews uh, every other week, live DJs every week. Uh, you also get a 10% discount on our shop at cwhiphop.com slash shop. If you want to join them, we'll shout you out on every show. Go to patreon.com slash cwhh. Now, we do have a question for our IGTV chat. We're going to be talking about that um, right away here and answering the, the question. Uh, right away. We're not going to be doing the game this week. We're going to get right into the Getting right into it. So what is the question this week here? What is your favorite music video from any artist? That was the question this week, and we had a lot of good participation in our Instagram live chat. Man, Gucci Laron says About to Pop Off by Cookies and Cream. Quiz Terry says All Good by Too High. Precise Aim says Murder Mill by Precise Aim. Zay Hazy says Molotov by Prism. Uh, Always Tired Ink says Ghost by Ryan Caravio. Uh, I think I almost said it right that time. That's funny. Uh, Des Got Pictures says Erase Me by Kid Cudi and Ye. B Plus says Avian by Mac Miller. Eddie James says Myself by Nav. Uh, NGS says This Is America by Childish Gambino. Prod IG says ASAP Forever uh, by ASAP Rocky. KD Lil Fat says Go Mode by KD Lil Fat. Boggs says About to Pop Off by Cookies and Cream. TR1 says Rhyme or Crime by Precise Aim. And Sub Music Boss says Crazy by Rich Homie Kwan. Right. What about you, B-Man? So what was your answer this week? I went with ASAP Rocky, his song, uh, LSD. I think the editing for that and just the overall way they captured the feel and look of what it's like on it, I mean, they did a great job uh, just kind of pushing that boundary on what's possible with videos. So, uh, yeah, ASAP Rocky, LSD. What do you got for yours, Prism? Uh, I have Man in the Mirror by Baby No Money. Uh, the whole scene there is just gorgeously set up, the way they have mirrors and pieces of glass hanging from trees, and he's got a big dance floor out in the middle of a forest, and just the whole shot is just clean. Yeah. What about you, Too High? I picked uh, High by uh, Earl Sweatshirt. Okay. Yeah, that, it was just dark, creepy, and like, 
it just fit my aesthetic. That's, it was just dope. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was it like that vintage look like all your uh shot by Hero Mirai. Hero, Hero Mirai. Hero Mirai. Mirai shoots Atlanta now. Yeah, okay. fire. Fire. <laughs> fire. Amazing director. Amazing oh, yeah. director. I don't doubt it. That's fucking awesome. Uh, what do you got for yours here, Garky? I had uh Dot the Genius by uh, Kid Cudi, Denzel Curry, and J. I. D. I mainly I mean it's a amazing video, but I mean Cole Bennett shot it, so that's kinda my main reason. Yeah. And it's got three amazing artists on it, so yeah, it goes hard. It's crazy. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, everybody, for putting your answers in the chat. We do appreciate it. Uh, if you want to join us live on Instagram, we go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m., a little after 8 o'clock for our podcast. If you're listening back on Spotify, you can actually swipe up, put your answer in there as well. Uh, listening back on Instagram and SoundCloud, uh, you can put in the comments as well. We appreciate all the answers you put in there, uh, too. Uh, we will have another question for you next week as well, like always, so make sure you guys are here for that. Uh, a couple of announcements here. We have NGS out of Madison. He's a new artist on the station at CW Hip Hop. Music is in our radio, and he is on our artist page on cwhiphop.com slash artist. Some new music out of Wisconsin Hip Hop. We have Big Fat Tony with Yo Tango that is out now. I Love You Truly with his album Girls Love Guitar out now. Domir the Dragon with Operator out now. Jetta Miz with Metrics out now. Bully Danny with Top Boy out now. Um, KCSJ with The Way, that's coming out October 26th, you said you had that wrong Yep, I had it wrong on the post. KCSJ corrected me, so it's all good. He, he said it's cool, so I'm, 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 I'm the clear. I'm in the all clear. right, all right. Uh, we also have SP Stevie with I'm OK coming out October 29th as well. Uh, there are more over at our Instagram page, at CW Hip Hop. Uh, Garky does a great job of releasing every Monday and Tuesday. And just to add to that, just because he's in the chat right now, yeah. uh, Big Fat Tony has his music video coming out, I think, on the 28th yeah, I did see for that. Busy Body. Or 18th. Was it 18th or 28th? Tell him in the chat, man. I forgot. Um, it might be 18th now that I think about it. But either way, uh, he's got that coming out, so make sure you're looking out for that. It looks very well shot. Yeah, I saw a snippet of He's yes. up on like, the roof of a house. Mm -hmm. It looks pretty well Very well clean shot. shots. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have another interview after our two high one here with Conclusion. The guy, he's coming in October 26th. Make sure you guys are here for that. That's going to be two Wednesdays from now. We have a concert coming up tomorrow, Thursday, October 13th at 6.30 p.m. Young Sage will be opening up for Skits Craven at OB's Bra House in Appleton. Tickets start at $15. It is not all ages. I know we did say that on the show. It is actually 21 plus, so if you are under 21, you will be refunded. You should check your email. You should have one that they'll get back to you. Uh, apparently, it was an issue or, or an error they had uh, putting it as all ages. So, unfortunately, if you are under 21, you will not be able to go into the venue there. And before you move on. What about your show? Yes. Yeah. Let Brimmer us know Cafe. Too high. Yeah, Brimmer Cafe this Sunday. We turning up. We turning up. My boy Shiro, he uh, got me as a special guest. So I guess it's not you know a secret or anymore like that. But yeah, I'll be performing this weekend, Brimmer Cafe. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. It's a, it's a great venue. Yeah, so. so that wasn't you just went to, right? Mm -hmm. and Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Pull yep. up. Um, you can check out where you can get tickets for the uh, Skits Craven show at cwhiphop.com slash concerts. Uh, I also added on the website cwhiphop.com slash Garky links to his music videos. Uh, it has a playlist there, so the most recent one should show up there. And then any show recaps that you do, um, we have linked there as well. And you're actually going to be uh, filming for Skits Craven coming up tomorrow. Literally right? tomorrow, yeah. It's going to be awesome. I got chosen to do that. I'm very excited. Yeah. I don't know if he's going to have me do photography or, or videography, yeah. but he said I'll be backstage with him before then. So yeah, before one of the official session. part of the crew though. You're doing it's it for him. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be dope. It's gonna be I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, but that's all we got for announcements here. I think we are ready for this interview. Are you ready, Too High? Yes, sir, let's get it. All right. All right. Right off the bat, I just want to welcome you to the studio. Thank you. This is, the, this is where all the magic happens, you know? That one right. I know you got one of your own, but this is ours. And we love it. <laughs> uh, have, you ever, have you ever been to this area before? No. Plaza? No? No. Never been to the middle of the state? No. How, how north have you been in Wisconsin? I think this might be... Where's Madison? <laughs> no, it's south of us. Like, yeah, 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 this will, yeah, this is the first time, I guess. That, Damn, okay. That's awesome. That's crazy. All right. I came up at a good time, all the leaves are changing and shit. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I ain't come up too cold, so it's cool. Yeah, right before winter actually hits. So how are you feeling coming to this interview? Man, I'm stoked. I'm ready. I'm ready for the questions. Let's get it. It's been a long time coming, man. Yes, sir. So how'd you come up with the name Too High? Uh, it was like a nickname. Okay. Yeah, like, motherfuckers was just smoking too much. You know, we be in the hot box, people be like, I'm like, yo, let's smoke again. They're like, what are you trying to smoke again? Why are you too hot? And it just stuck as okay. like a nickname. Like, and, like my brothers used to just call me too hot, so it just... I fuck with that? Yeah, okay. I just yeah. changed my name. At first, my artist name was Arthur, which, I, it was random. Okay. So I I, you know, I can't really explain Arthur. Okay, but like, okay, I got you. 
Too high. You play cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Too high. I think it's a little better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Way, too way, high. Is that, did you? Was that your? Uh, so you went from Arthur. I know you did like one song as Arthur. Uh, I, I did at first. I did like a couple songs. So like, what y'all found was like. I know you had something deleted. Yeah, there was something deleted on there, sure. I had like yeah, it was plenty of shit deleted. I had, like, <laughs> I had like maybe like twenty songs as the name like Arthur, and then I changed my name to like Arthur Too High. Okay. And then it was just I just dropped it and just put Too High. Okay. Yeah. I think that's like more marketable too. Exactly. So. It was like twenty nineteen when I did that. Fuck yeah, I like that. That's a good story behind your name. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so why do some people call you a one high though? What's up with that? Do you lose a high every once in a while? Or no, what? it's just because motherfuckers like Cleese, Terry. Yeah, that's and, what I was really, yeah. And, and Willie, and Wack. These motherfuckers just like to joke, you know? <laughs> that's, that's all it is, you know? I don't know who one high is. This motherfucker don't exist. I I guess I, I came up with a, with a little conspiracy theory <laughs> for it. Uh, like when, you're, when you haven't smoked that day, they call you mm -hmm. one high, so like you don't turn into too high till you smoke. I could, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't I know, that's just my theory. Could, but, but yeah, no, nah, they just childish. I got you, alright. But well, he smoked before he brushed his teeth. I smoke, I smoke. I heard that's I mean, that's good. I mean, that's yeah, serious. you gotta brush your teeth after you smoke. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> really trying to call him out in the comments. Mm -hmm. Look at him. <laughs> I'm, I'm chilling. Cause he's just he's just just chilling. He's got on the camera there. <laughs> Jeez. So, did you have a specific goal or expectation when you started making music? Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, no, when I first started, no. Honestly, I was just, I was just trying to make it, and then it was just the, like the passion. Like, I just loved to like, I just grew to love like this, like to make it everything, like the process. Like, I think making the music and performing it. Is like the greatest thing about music, except like besides like obviously listening to it. But like as a creator, I'd be like, bro, I gotta go to the studio. Now I have to show off my art. You know, it's yep. the same thing as like a, a, a painter. You know, mm -hmm. so it's like, what was the question? My bad. <laughs> no, you did. You have a specific goal or expectation when you started? No. No. Okay. No, I did not. <laughs> I was just throwing shit at the wall. I honestly got inspired by like one of the homies uh, in middle school. And then, like, just listening to, like, artists like Kid Cudi and Lil Wayne, they just, and Tyler the Creator and stuff like that, it's like, they inspired me, like, to, like, become an artist like them, which is, like, those type of artists inspire more artists to think outside the box and do crazier things and just be true to who you are. Mm -hmm. And just, like, you don't even gotta be an artist to, like, actually vibe with their shit, it's just, like, as a person. You're not alone, so that's that's the one uh, music I inspired to make. Yeah, so you yeah. kind of kind of were touched on this. So how long ago did you actually start making music, and then who or what inspired you? I mean, you're talking middle school, inspired part, middle yeah. school. Yeah. Or, oh yeah, middle yeah. School. Who was the homie in middle school? My boy Tevin. Okay. Him and his uh, brother Sean, and and their cousin D'Angelo. I'm glad I can remember. Off the <laughs> hey, yeah. shout outs right there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was a prep rally and. We were in middle school, I was sitting in the bleachers, and my boy D'Angelo sitting right next to me, and my boy Tevin uh, is like missing. I'm like, all right, where he at? But all of a sudden we start hearing like some music playing, and the uh, D'Angelo come out the um, at the locker room, he got a mic, Tevin pull out a mic out of his backpack, and I'm like, I'm just, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And they just start, they start rapping, and I'm like, literally goosebumps. I'm, I'm, I'm froze. They rapping and shit like that. Everybody turning up. I'm like, wow, this is crazy as hell. I was like, I ain't know like, the homies could do it. I see other people doing it. I was like, I ain't know the homies could do it. I was like, this shit crazy. Anybody could do this shit. So I was like, I was like, y'all gotta teach me how to do this shit. And like, now I'm, I'm pissed because. What the fuck? Like, we hang out after school, but I didn't know y'all made music. What the hell? I like, that shit Nobody told you shit. Yeah, so I was like, bro, we gotta do something. That's and, like, yeah, were the mics, like, like, hooked up, like, to an amp or something? No, like, they were just, they cordless. just had them, okay. Yeah. Oh, but they were hooked up, like, they were still, like, projecting on a speaker, though. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. And this was I, in middle school. Middle school. That's kind of crazy. Damn. I kind of pictured them just, like, pulling out mics, and, like, not, like, they weren't on speakers. That nope. would be, but okay, no. I got you. 
That's yeah, crazy. Uh, uh, Damn. That, I'm like, like, this is wild. I didn't have the balls like that in middle school. No. It was one. It was like one mic. It was one mic that was like connected to a, a cord that was like, down there. But like, oh, okay. yeah. Okay. Besides that, they had two wireless mics. That's crazy. Like, That's dope. Uh, do you have any uh, passions outside of making music? Any other ones? Um, acting. Okay. Acting, modeling. Uh, I used to want to write like scripts or movies and stuff like that. I want to get back into that. It's just, I got a lot on my plate right now. Yeah, I mean, you know, it I'm gets trying, hard, man. Trying to scratch one thing off the board. <laughs> yeah. But, like, yeah, like, if directing, too, like, if I had the opportunity to just, like, step behind the camera and just do some stuff, like, that'd be dope. But, like, I got to learn up on it first. And I, I'm luckily, I'm blessed to be around people who know this shit, go to school for this shit. So I'm like, all right, but that's a cheat code. Let me, all right, you know. <laughs> Let me get some information from you real quick. Teach me how to do this shit, but like, yeah. Right now it's just acting, modeling. What kind of gigs are you doing with acting and modeling? Right now, me and my boy Willie, he uh, working on a TV show. Uh, I can't really say too much. I think I'm really about this a little bit at the show. Yeah, I can't say too much okay. about it, but hey, like. You don't got so many dudes yeah, yeah, man, it's all right. All right. <laughs> it's fire. I did like work in like, um, and I think it was 2019, or 20, no, yeah, 2019. Um, I was in a Milwaukee Fashion Week. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. So that was dope. Nice. Yeah, that was, that was dope as fuck. I was blessed. I was just, I literally was skating down the street with the with the homies. We stopped at this one store, and the lady was like, she came up to me and she was like, you model? I was like, no. She was like, you want to? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh I got went to the audition. That's, uh, that's crazy. Yeah, I went to the audition. I did my thing, and then somebody else came up to me and was like, who are you with? I was like. Oh, some other company that was like, all right, bet. Uh, well, you trying to model for us if it worked the schedule? I was like, yeah, all right, cool. So I got to model for two different, you know. Just wow. opportunity yeah, after effort. That's awesome. It's, it's crazy. Sick. Yeah, that's it's crazy. crazy as fuck. Just how random, like, that could happen just, just any day. Any day. That's crazy. <laughs> just skating to the store with the homies. Oh, man, sure. that's awesome. So to our, to our knowledge, I know you already said you got, had a lot of shit deleted off of your sound club, to our knowledge. The farthest I could go back. Your first ever released song, song was on SoundCloud seven years ago, February 24th, 2015, called Rap Deity. Oh, shit. And it seems like back then you go go by the name of Arthur, which you already said uh, that that you did. Was This clearly wasn't your first ever track. Do you remember your first ever track, though? Hmm. No, I don't. You don't? No. Well, so far, this, I guess, what... What number is Rap Deity then? If you if you had to if you had to guess. If I had to guess. Out of all the songs I made. Like before that, yeah, ones before I, like, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably like thirty-seven. Damn! Oh, wow! <laughs> Damn! Like, you purged it. It was like that's crazy. That's because like when I was like when I was younger. Damn no. It has to be like. Probably like a hundred, like a hundred something, like, cause like, you gotta believe, like, you gotta understand, like, I was in middle school, um, writing songs with the homies, and we was like, so I, I guess I can technically count that as a song, made, it ain't record, recorded, but like, we talking about recorded. Well, the ones released, that's what released. I was, yeah, yeah that's, okay. what I was, that's what I was getting at, I guess. Okay. Then, yeah, I will say like, probably like the 20th. 20th? Okay, okay. All right. I mean, shit. for your 20th song, <laughs> At bang either way, so that's good shit. Yeah. Like you, you were already on the fucking right track with that, so that's awesome to hear. Uh, so what was your first recording studio setup? Would you would you have going with that? If, if you could think back to the closet so days. Got a mic, interface, dog. The it was like it was like all right. So I was with the homies. It was actually here in Milwaukee, like because I I went back and forth to like Nashville. Growing up, okay, and um, so like every summer I come to Milwaukee, chill with the homies. That's how I met Ed back in like 2013, like 20, yeah, probably like no, probably like 2012, honestly. Damn, bro, my memory is so fucked up. Yeah, it was like 2012. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just say that, 2012, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Go with that. Nobody, nobody's gonna fact check, nobody's gonna fact check me but him. Um, <laughs> So that's when I met Ed and pretty much uh, his brothers and stuff like that. And Ed used to make beats and his brothers used to make beats. And, or his brother used to make beats. And 
me, my uh, my uh, cousin Q, we all just link up. My boy Kid, everybody just link up. My boy uh, Ray, he had, we just link up and um, just like be in the attic or my uh, my cousin Q uh, bedroom, or we'd be over Ed and uh, uh, his brother uh, Dilly house, and we just like be all cramped up in one room. Somebody playing Xbox, try, like trying to be quiet as hell but loud as hell at the same time. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We all hot as hell or cold as fuck depending on the season. Yeah. <laughs> and like we just all like trying to like all right, man, let's just try to make as much music as we can, and. It was just crazy. It was a crazy uh, time. So that sounds like fun, though. It sounds yeah. like there was good energy in the room for the making the music. So that's good. Definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Shortly yeah. after that twentieth song, now that I know, uh, you released "Who Are You," and it seems like you had like a new name. Was what, what you put "Balance" in front of it? Oh, was that so? Balance was um, it's a, a group I was with. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. They, I'm still like they, they gang gang. You know what I mean? That's the, that's still the boys. Uh, that's my homies in Nashville. Shout out to them. Um, yeah, it was a group I was in uh, with my boy K, uh, Thirty Cells, uh, Alexa. It's a lot of them. Like we were just out there, and that's the people who inspired me to like actually try to like sing on tracks and like switch it up and like come with melodies and stuff like that. So they like really actually challenged me and with this music. At first, I was just trying to like write bars and like try to like you know come up with something, but as soon as, like, they heard my shit, it was like, it's funny how I linked up with him. Um, my boy Terry, he was like, yo, uh, you trying to smoke with the homies at the, at the, at the school? I was like, fuck it. So we all... <laughs> Don't call me too high for nothing. <laughs> right, so we're all cramped up in this, uh, in this, uh, like, Nissan, like, everybody, it's like maybe four in the back. Uh, right, it's each other's know, laps crazy. Man. It's four in the back, two in the front. I'm like, damn, like we all high boxing and shit. And like, my song come on and they they play it like they singing. I'm like, y'all know this shit. It's like, it's like yeah, bro. It's like oh, I fuck with Arthur, bro, blah, blah blah. I was like, my boy Terry was like, he was just laughing. I'm like, I was like, fam, do they know who this? I was like, is y'all joking? What the fuck going on? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I thought, I thought, I thought he was just playing with me, and so I thought everybody was playing with me, and it was like, no, nah, bro, like, uh, like, they was like, uh, is this you, bro? I was like, yeah. They was like, what the fuck? Like, oh, this is you? You're Arthur? I was like, yeah. I was like, y'all, y'all didn't know that before we hung out. Like, they was like, no, like it was my first time hanging out with him and shit like that. So okay, was, okay. I was just like, they was like, no, we don't, we didn't, no, we didn't know you. So I was like, that's crazy, as a, that's crazy as fuck. So they oh, showed me. Knew. No, uh, not Queen, my, oh, my no, boy Terry. Was oh, not not Queen Terry. Uh, oh, this is somebody sorry. in Nashville. Okay, yeah, how you good? But my boy in Nashville. Um, yeah. So they like, uh, yo, can we show you some shit real quick? I'm like, yeah. So they play a beat. They like, yo, you trying to freestyle? I'm like, I don't really freestyle. Y'all can go ahead though. So they vibing, and I, this one I find out they rap. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, all right, rock. Y'all had to be playing some type of joke on me, bro. Y'all, like, are y'all like y'all make music for real, for real? It's like, it's like, nah, bro. We just be freestyling and shit. They literally freestyle like maybe like three songs in a row, like hooking on. Like fuck, really like, hooking like, all. Hooking all, like Damn. like somebody will come back with the hook. I'm like, I'm like, what the? F we gotta record. <laughs> yeah, like, I was like, I know somebody. Yeah. yeah, I was like, I know somebody. Let's record. He's like, all right, bet. Uh, shit, let's do it. We ain't never been in the studio. I was like. The fuck? What? So like, I introduced them to the studio and all that shit. I'm Their like, studio bro. was the car before, I guess. I guess they was that just like freestyling, yeah. hot boxing and shit like that. <laughs> so then like, yeah, like that's who uh, balance is. It was balance the void, but um, okay, yeah, like we had made the song "Who Are You," and yeah, we made a couple of, uh, different tracks, but yeah, that's the homies from Nashville. That that's that's, that's, a, that's like that's that's cool that y'all just kind of like. In the at the almost at the same time came to the conclusion of wow we all make music <laughs> like what that's funny as hell. Well, so what would you say is the best advice that you've ever gotten? Best advice was is this really advice? But it's like I don't know. Like you can be whoever you want to be. I'd say that's advice. Yeah, like that's yeah, like. Just simple shit like that, being, like just being told to me as like growing up, mm -hmm. like you can do whatever you want. 
Maybe I should reword that question and make it what's stuck with you. Like what's what's something that's stuck with you? Some people get caught up on advice sometimes. Yeah. But either way, yeah, that was a good that was a good answer. I mm -hmm. like that. Uh, it seems like you've always been making stoner music um, and have always smoked. Do you remember the first time ever smoking? Your first your first blunt, your first bowl, whatever it was. Yes. C B D that is, by the way. <laughs> yeah, um Yeah, man. I was like I was like fourteen. Maybe, yeah, I was like 14. I just graduated, not I graduated, but I just left eighth grade. And it was like the uh, the summer between eighth grade and ninth grade, and I was with my cousin. And we was just chilling and shit like that. And I remember we was watching like, I mean, we used to watch like, you know, movies where motherfuckers used to smoke and shit like that. And then he was like, you trying to smoke some weed, bro? I'm like, Whoop. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I also, bro, like he didn't I was hesitate like, at all. No, I was just like, fuck it. I was like, yeah, let's try it. And then he was like, all right, it's going to cost like $5 to $10. I was like, that's how they get you. All right, bro, <laughs> $5 to $10. All right, cool. Gave him like 10 It was somebody who was walking down the street. He's like, yo, you know where I found some weed? He's like, yeah. He's like, give me like 5 or $10. I was like, all right, bet. <laughs> Get the money. And then he came back with like he came back like fifteen minutes, gave us the weed and shit like that. So it was like, all right, but we had like enough to bro like a blunt maybe. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that's the thing we didn't know how to roll, so we was like, fuck what we gonna do. <laughs> and I was like, you gotta think we're fifteen, fourteen. I'm like, yo, how the fuck we gonna smoke? This? How we gonna smoke? We ran out of money. That was all I cared. <laughs> yeah. We we came by a rap. What we gonna do? So we. St Stood outside the the gas station. And my cousin was like, "Yo, um, we ain't got no dollar, but can you get us a rap or something?" He was like, "Yeah, I got y'all." And it was like the first person. I'm like, "Damn, Yo, this is too generous. easy." <laughs> <laughs> this is too easy. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, so I was like, "Damn." Awesome. So we got the rap. It was a flat rap. It wasn't even like a rap, like a it wasn't like a cigar. It was like a flat rap. Oh okay. So so it was like definitely like a cheat code, right? So. um we went upstairs in his house, we rolled up. He must have knew that you guys were like first time smokers. I guess. Yeah, yeah he, yes. must, he must have knew. He had to know. I was your guardian angel right there. Right there. The weed was clutched in my hand so fucking hard, bro. Oh, scared. gosh. I was so fucking scared. Like, <laughs> we went upstairs. I remember going upstairs. <laughs> we went upstairs and, like, uh, was about to roll up, and it took us, like, an hour. <laughs> like, damn near, like, an hour, because, like, we rolled up on, like, a star foam, like, a paper plate. Yep. And it was, like, the weed was like almost sticking on there, so it was like damn, oh. fucking up. And then we know how to roll, so we ran. We ran through the first rap. Had to be careful with the second one. Finally got it. All right, boom. We smoked it, and yeah, man, that's that's when yeah, Milwaukee. <laughs> what, what was the experience like though? I guess because I mean, everybody has their you know their first tie. You never you never forget you never forget what happened, right? I used to be. I used to be super shy. I'm like I'm quiet now. I'm still quiet. I'm still like you know background. But like I used to be like super duper like shy. And I remember like as soon as I like knew like I was not not new but like as soon as I start feeling how I was like, fam, I want to go like somewhere and sing. I want to go. <laughs> yes. I want to go like. Say hi to somebody. Like we was, <laughs> yeah. we was on some wild shit. Like I was yelling through the window. We was singing some some fucking song. I think I, I can't remember what song it was. <laughs> it was some Katy Perry song. I don't know, like, we was child. We was high as hell. Yeah. Like, and then we went outside and like this lady was like she was trying to get in her car. I was like helping her out. I was like oh man. I was like yo my confidence is so high. Blah blah blah. And my cousin was like. Come back over here before you get us killed. Like, like I, I was just in too many, too many other people's faces and shit. Uh, like that. I was yeah. Just like, yeah, it was just an overload. But I was like, wow, this is amazing. Feel great. And that's what started it. So, yeah. for somebody, I'm, for, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. That was a great story. For somebody who might not have heard your music before, how would you describe it? The kind um, of music you make. I was, I would describe it as like. Almost like psychedelic trap. That's what I be just head on. Yeah, yeah, like like something where you like you can get high to my shit. Even 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 though you don't get high, you know it makes you high. You're like damn, it gives high. you a buzz. Yeah, you like high as hell. All right, too high. Okay, I see what you smoking. Like uh, that's the that's how uh, we'll describe my music. 
Okay. No, it seems like your stuff is good for whether you're at home just chilling, smoking, or if you want to turn the fuck up, even like. Yeah. You, you, like, I feel like I have, like. Yeah, dip, yeah, okay. Yeah, you could. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so moving on to July 3rd, 2016, you released what looks like to be your first ever love song called Did You Miss Me, uh, featuring Ed. What can you tell us about this track and who's Ed? Uh, my boy Ed, uh, that's the guy I was uh, referring to earlier that I met in like 2012. Okay. I was say. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's like my brother. Like, I've been knowing him forever. And like, yeah, so. When I first moved back to Milwaukee, we started making like a shit ton of music. And that was like one of the first ones we made. And we was like, yo, this is, we gotta put this out, bro. Like, we gotta put this motherfucker out. And like, it's funny as you said, love song. It's almost like, it's almost like a diss, a diss track. Oh, okay. Oh. Like, yeah, like, it, was a, it was a diss track to like an ex of mine. And it was just like... So it was a little bit of a love song at the same time. Yeah, then. but it was like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like taunting her. I was like teasing her and shit like that. It was like... It's like... That's awesome. I was, oh, it was just some toxic ass shit, but like... No, I feel you. Um, yeah, and then Ed was like, yo, can I hop on this? I was like, of course, let's get this shit. And then I had the idea of like uh, putting the scene from Martin show. Like okay. uh, in the beginning and shit like that, mm -hmm. so I was like, "Yo, it's gonna be a hit." We just went to like the nearest like McDonald's or like uh or fucking um what was it? It was like a Starbucks or something to get the Wi-Fi and Harry can drop it on SoundCloud. Like, nice. Yo, and we just promoting like, "Yo, this is out. Come check it out." Blah blah. blah. Walking around with a laptop and it was just like I had my hotspot. <laughs> I was like, "Bet, let's get this shit." So that's awesome. It was dope. That's awesome. So then, uh, December 27th, 2016, you dropped your track One Punch, featuring Ed, again on SoundCloud. It has a lot of anime ties. Do you watch anime? If so, what's your favorite? Uh, I'm not a super anime head. Like, I fuck with anime. Uh, but One Punch was definitely one of my favorites. But if I got to say, I would say My Hero. My Hero Academia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. That in, I would say Death Note. Death you Note watch Star. anime. You don't don't tell me you're, I don't watch a lot of anime. You just got it so excited to say Death Note. Death it's like the most boring <laughs> anime ever made. And you just got to say, oh, say that. You watch anime. Don't lie Death to me. Death Note is fire. Right? <laughs> now it's funny. Like I know so many people who actually watch anime that they be calling me calling me a poser. So I'm like, oh, hey, oh, I'm yeah. like, cool. I'm more of a I ain't no gatekeeper kid. over here, bro. Yeah, so you I'm can like, watch as much anime as you want. Yeah, yeah but like, oh, yeah, I would definitely a Shiro. Uh, off with my head, you know. I, I he had the Itachi bag at the show. I saw that. I was talking to him about that. Yeah, I that man that. is a fucking expert. Like, <laughs> he can teach that at like a, a college. Yeah, you not. What would that class be called? <laughs> What would it be? An what anime would anime one on one. Yeah. Anime, 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 anime one on one. one? Okay, yeah. that's a good idea. Professor Roro. Professor Roro. That's funny as hell. <laughs> oh man, you'd have all the burnouts in the class. It'd be so funny. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> so your first ever EP that you released called Burn Baby Burn. It's going burn. Uh, was fully released May 20th, 2017, featuring 10 tracks, Plug, BBB, which I assume is Burn Baby Burn, yeah. uh, Act Right, Two More, Like This, Rollin', Breathe, Missed Calls, Lie to Me, and Feel Away. What inspired the CP? What can you tell us about it? That X inspired this shit. Uh, this how I was like... Crazy. Now, I get, yeah. now yeah. I get the title. Now I get the title. Yeah, the song Dizzy Miss Me, it was supposed to be on there. Okay. But I was like, no, nah, this is going to be a single. And yeah, it was like pretty much because like uh, she was one of those like people who was like, oh yeah, like I fuck with your shit, but like she didn't like really like try to like in invest or listen into it. And we was like also going through like a lot of shit like as a couple. And I don't know why, as a young at a young age, like I was like seventeen, eighteen. You're stressing my heart. Yeah, and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> You know, they gotta stress this hard over this girl. Yeah. And I was like, as a flex, let me just use my talent to like vent real quick on these tracks. I was like, and it pretty much made itself. It wasn't like, oh, I'm about to make a project about it. It was like, I made these songs and I was like, damn, this yeah. is this is a project. 
you know, let me chop off, project. let me chop off yeah. like maybe like five or six songs and you know put it out there. So that's how it came together. That's what's up. I mean, being ten tracks was there a reason you had it as an EP versus like an album, or you just didn't want to have it as like an album right away? I feel like um, I feel like if I had the other like five to six songs on there, it would have been repetitive. Okay. Like, uh, like I feel like a lot of the songs are already short and stuff like that. Like, it's, and a couple of them sound the same, but like they have different meanings. And the other five or six had the same message. Gotcha. So okay. Like, oh, let me, let me sense. just chop this off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, so right after that EP, you released your second ever EP, October twenty eighth, twenty seventeen, called Self Destruct. Also having ten tracks such as Untitled, Close to You, Meltdown, Part Time, Statue, What You Want. WTF, cry on your, cry on my shoulder, watching TV, pray, and pray for me. What is one song on this EP you'd say was like your favorite one to make, or maybe is still your favorite today? Probably untitled and. Damn, what was the what was the third one? Third one, uh, Meltdown? Nope. Part-time, okay. Statue? Close to you? Statue. Okay. My bad, there you go, Statue. Untitled and Statue. <coughs> okay. And Crown on My Shoulder. I was so mad at Ed about Crown on My Shoulder. What happened? I, I t it took me like two weeks to make that song. He came over one night and like, he, t he took a hit of his uh, at a, like, drink we were drinking. And he's like, yo, can I hop on this? I was like, yeah. And he just ripped it. And I was like, Bro, it took me so fucking long to write this shit. And I was just like, yo, like, I, like we're super competitive, like, um, making music like that. And, like, whenever he writes some shit, I want to ball up my shit and rewrite. So It's kind of a that, good thing to have yeah, that around you, yeah. At that moment, I was like, fuck, now I got to rewrite my shit. So I had to rewrite my shit, and that's why I'm mad at him about that shit. Yeah, <laughs> so you're not really mad yeah. at him, but yeah, yeah, I got you. Oh, pushed you. Yeah, it's like, damn. <laughs> but, like, that's hilarious. Yeah, I would say Untitled and Statue, besides the that one. Okay, fuck yeah. So then December 25th, 2017, again, 2017, uh, you released another EP called High. This one only has four tracks, such as Movies, Lemonade, Drive Slow, and OK. What was, what was it like releasing three EPs back to back to back? And what kept you like grinding for just EPs? Man, this was that SoundCloud era. This is what motherfuckers was like. All right, we got to drop. We got to, like, it was, like, Lil Pump, uh, X, Ugly God, all these motherfuckers yeah. dropping. My favorite, one of my favorite artists, Lucky. Like, it was just, like, plenty of motherfuckers just dropping, dropping, dropping. I'm like, all right, but I got to be one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, we're going to blow off some. Like, and this one, I was taking more of, like, the SoundCloud route versus, like, I should go out and perform. Okay. Like, so I was, like, heavily invested in, like, all right, we got to drop, drop, drop. So... I, like it was, it wasn't no rush, but it was like the it created like a it created like a work force in me, like to like actually like produce music, like like consistently, yeah, consistently and organically, like just like all right, Bill, let's think some ideas. All right, cool, 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 let's lay that shit down. You know what I mean? Cause yeah. we used to wake up I'm like all right, hit record, let's fix some shit real quick. Just, that's all it was? Shit, literally. And it was like, all right. I remember I went to, um, we was in Miami, and I was like, uh, it was at Rolling Loud, and I was like, yo, I gotta drop this shit soon, bro. And I just seen Lucky drops, and I was like, fuck. I, was like, I wanted to drop. And I was like, I was like, who, who, who the fuck cares? Like, if I drop when Lucky drop, or, you know what I mean? I was like, we're all numbers in the matrix, so let me just drop my shit. So <laughs> I dropped my shit, so. But yeah, hi. Out there, I we gotta stay relevant with this shit. I mean, yeah, it's just you don't know, you don't see that a lot though, where it's like it's EP after EP after EP or album after album after album. There's always a couple singles in there, yeah, always. And it's it's you were on another grind back then, you're on a whole nother wave. That's crazy. No, I got yeah, I got people in my corner like, all right, we gotta think this shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. calm on. down, bro. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> you're going too fast, too high. <laughs> no, uh, so what does an average day in the life of too high look like? Um. You know, I, you know. I, I honestly, uh, get high, yeah. yeah, you're gonna smoke and then uh, rest, yeah. 
you know, being with my dog Zeus, you know, uh, being with the gang, and shit like that. Always creating. I'm always working on something. Creative. Yeah, right? yeah. If if Willie's not over at the house, like either like shooting up or we're like thinking about like video concepts or some shit like that, or actually just like making some beats or just making music or some shit like that, I'll probably be downstairs or at High Five Studios and they'll be making tracks with him. Or I'll probably be at that guy Eli house uh, making songs with him. Or I'll just be with the gang like trying to discuss the future. Mm -hmm. Like we're always constantly working on some shit. Or I'll probably be downstairs like printing out merch. Like, you make your own merch? Yeah, yeah I, I make my own merch. Yeah. You got like a screen print or what? Yes, sir. Uh, screen fuck, printer, yeah. And I got a heat press. Yeah. Damn. All right. Yeah, that's inside. awesome. Yeah, we go crazy. Right in the basement. Yeah. That's yeah. fucking perfect. Some in house shit, shit, man. Yes, that's the best. Is that where that sweatshirt came from? Yeah, yeah. This homemade. You know what I mean? This for me. This a uh, fuck up, but it's a nice fuck up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's smooth. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't I'll, matter that gang's backwards. We, we're working on some <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's it's cold in the mirror though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Yo, you know what? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good yeah, point. That shit fire. We gotta start making merch just for mirror picks. Yeah, merch. Yeah, so. mirror merch. Ooh, mirror names. Merch mirror Let's go. Out there. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's the triple M on there. Joy, <laughs> stop giving away the game. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we, we did the same shit. We'll just, like, throw ideas back and forth all the fucking time. Um, <laughs> so what are some things that you may have had, uh, like, overcome to get where you are today? Stage fright. Um, Self-doubt. Um, huh, let me see. Um, fuck shit. <laughs> oh. Just day to day fuck shit. You know what I mean? Like, you always gonna run into some person or some obstacle and you be like, damn. But, you know, just pushing through that shit and just always, you know, having that, that goal in mind or having something to do. Like, okay, I have to go to the studio or I have to do something like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Too many obstacles. Too many obstacles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Too many obstacles. Hell yeah. Goals and obstacles by Too High featuring uh, Lake Homie. Uh, so July 18th, 2020, you released your first ever album on SoundCloud titled Two Birds with 12 tracks such as All You Need, Astronaut, Match, Geet, which is a fantastic, I love that song. Thanks. It's so fucking good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I'm good. Or yes, I'm okay. Sorry. Distant Reality. Compromise, Revenge, How Things Go, Nobody Cares, Flawless, and Home. And for just a little fun fact, Flawless was his uh, second ever music video that you made on YouTube. So go check out that music video. Um, I'm mostly curious about the name of, of the album. Third. Third? No, I thought I was just on there today. All right, we're going to discuss this afterwards. I got something hidden. It's all oh, good. it's okay, hidden. Okay, okay, hidden. Okay, okay, that's why. Okay. Second. Okay. Well, okay. It's the second one that I can find. Let's, I'll, I'll rework that. Um, <laughs> So I'm mostly curious about the title of the album. How'd you come up with that? Two birds. Two birds. Oh, cause me and Nobi, like you know. Oh, you guys are the two birds, I assume. Yeah, okay. like uh, we this two dope, t two dope ass motherfuckers. Like I was like, <laughs> okay, it's, okay. It got too many, like it got like different meanings and shit like that. Plus it was like too high. It was like it was just like yeah, just that idea of like me and Nobi just dope ass artists and shit like that. And I was like. I want to incorporate you, but also, like, with the cover art, I want to show something dope as fuck, where it's like There's an action, and I yeah. just, yeah, getting led by two birds to another world. And I was like, this shit fire. Hell yeah. Yeah, <laughs> this shit Hell fire. Yeah. So, it being your first ever album, is there any other stories you could tell us about it, or, or you know, anything you want to tell us about it at all, I guess? I, um, that's, that album, it took us, like, it took like four phases to make a album. Four phases? Yeah. yeah. What, how long is a phase? Yes. Like, we said it was done four times. Oh, so, okay. 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 That yeah. makes more sense. Okay. Like, it was like so many tracks that did, made it on there that didn't make it. It was like features on there that was like, yeah, then we took them off. <laughs> we kept them. It was a lot of shit. And it was like, like, uh, almost like, couple months before we actually released it, I say a month and a half before we released it, is when I like probably added like four tracks on it, like the last four tracks on it. Yeah. And yeah, like each phase I was like, man, it should be this. Or it should You're be being that. a perfectionist. Yeah, this time and then okay. I was like, it's the first album. Yeah. Fuck. I was like, fuck, let's put this shit out, y'all. Put it over with. But not like fuck it, but it was like, all right, it's actually done. Yeah. 
now let's let's put it out because like I ain't gonna lie like I don't know how other artists feel about this shit, but like every time I release some shit, I'm nervous as fuck. I'm like scared as hell. I'm like fuck. something you didn't notice after pushing it. No, not even that. It's like it's it's still like. When I was dropping SoundCloud shit, I was scared. I was like, you mean like like butterflies? Like say like yeah, like, it's like butterflies. A, okay, it's like, gotcha. I don't know how people will you Perceive know yeah, because like it's like some tracks where if you hear some shit like oh, he's talking about that person or some tracks you like I oh he mentioned that you know what I mean I'm like yeah but it's all I like my experience is like yo you gotta just understand if you know me you gonna be a part of this shit you know what I mean. <laughs> okay. so, but like I, I yeah, and it's my craft. I'm like shit. Uh, they don't throw stones at me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. Cause yeah, you got tiptoe with what you say and this entertainment shit. Eh, yeah, sometimes yeah. yeah. Uh, if it wasn't for music, what do you think you'd be doing now? I know being in music so long. You think acting? Yeah, I'm I'm probably, just, after you said acting, modeling before, I kind of thought you were. Yeah, about. I'd probably be acting or modeling or some shit like that. I remember when I was like 13, 14, like. Uh, just trying to make music and stuff like that. My uncle was trying to give me an auditions for like Disney and, and like Nickelodeon and stuff like that. Damn, okay. Yeah, but then he was like, you smoke, bruh. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, he didn't actually catch me in the act. He just saw my lips getting purple. He was like, oh, okay. he's like, bro, we got to get you like marketable. And he's like, you got to stop kissing in your songs and all this stuff and shit. So like, for like two years, I didn't kiss my songs. And he was trying to drive me auditions. That I didn't want to go to. And I was like, I was fucking up an opportunity, a bag, but like at the same time, I was like, bro, I want to get, I want to get off with this music first. So that's what I was. I stuck with my guns to. And he was like, I feel you, bro. Go crazy. He's just like, it's riskier with the music. He's like, as a child actor, you probably get in. You know, I mean, yeah. quick or not, like, yeah, that's true. But I guess cool. just thinking about all the child actors I've ever heard of, they never really they have never the really greatest, the right. greatest time. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. But and another thing is, I was I was thinking is like being an artist, you can almost be a model and an actor at the same time after you're an artist already. You know what I mean? Because you're yeah, you're a face, you're you're a it's person. Easier. Exactly. Yeah. It's, and it's, it'll be easier to get those gigs at the same time. So I, and the other way around, I don't think it would work as well. No. Like if you were a model and you were like, okay, now I'm an established model. And everybody's gonna like like my music, I, and or an actor like Drake. Like music. <laughs> yeah, like he was an actor in the music. All right. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's risky. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it is. It's, it's, yeah. I mean, Drake's got other weird universe forces behind him somehow <laughs> still. Um, so can you run us through uh, an average studio session with Too High? Do you have like a process in the studio? Um, yeah, right now, me and my boy Will, we were just talking about, you know, music theory and shit like that, and I need to, like, brush up on the lingo and understand shit that I actually need. Because, you know, right now, honestly, when I get to the stool, it's usually the producer show me some beats. Um, either I'll focus on them or I'll be like, all right, let's, can we make something from scratch? We'll make something from scratch. And if they ask me what I want, I'm like, shit. Mm -hmm. Language you, know I mean? you don't quite know. Like, yeah, make, like, just it make that shit. yeah, like, it's <laughs> like, that's like, just like, sometimes I'll be like, shit, let's just vibe. And then they just make some shit, and I'm like, yep, yep. And then I just, I get some shit, nah, yep, alright, let's get this shit. And then sometimes, uh, either, uh, I'm writing as they're making this shit, I'm like, alright, cool, let me just get my shit down. Or I'm just constantly thinking, I'm smoking, I'm talking to the gang, I'm like, alright, cool, cool. I'm just in my head, I'm pacing through the room. And then as soon as the beat render, are we good? Cool. Let me put this punch again. Let me freestyle real quick. And so then you I do just, freestyle now? I freestyle. I punch in freestyle. Okay, okay. But I don't like... Not like on the spot. Yeah, it's not right, like, right. yo, what the, what the shirt? Yeah. The glass. <laughs> I'm not, yeah. Damn, he's hating on the glass. And <laughs> not even that, no, no. no. <laughs> but like, yeah, like, I, I do the punch in freestyles and shit like that. So like... It take me a little time, but I think, and I'm like, okay, cool, what crazy ass thing can I just think of? All right, boom, 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 and I just say some crazy shit. And we usually, you know, get it together, but that's usually how the, the process go. I usually get the hook out first, the verse, and then I do layers on everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, we got, we got it, next track. Send that over to the mixer, yeah. yeah. next track. How many hours <laughs> would you say you're in the studio on average? Um, 
a good day. Let's say that on a good, yeah, on a good, on a good day. day. On a day where you're ready, you got shit in the ball. You're like okay, ready to go. Boom. How many like, hours are you in that bitch? I would say. Ooh, I say like five. I, no, I say like six to eight. Six to eight hours. Good yeah, shit. like I'm a little work shift. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I just yeah. Um, that little nine to five. Yeah, <laughs> I remember when me, me and uh, Novi was first making music. Uh, not first making music, but between Two Birds and White Light of Bad Luck, we were making at least five songs a day. Oh, wow. Okay. Like, we were like going in like, all right, yo, I'm outside, smoking, blah, 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 chopping it up, all right, cool, let's go straight to work. We're making songs, I'm like, all right, cool, cool, cool. And then like, we make like, I probably like, say no to four beats, then we'll make five, like somehow make five tracks that day. <laughs> you know what I mean? After, but now with those funny. beats, it's just yeah. more, more, and more beats. You know what I mean? So like, that's awesome. As I'm writing and like throwing away shit, not actually throwing away shit, but like Correct. saving it in my notes. Nah, I don't want that. Let me just rewrite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Novi also has like, he has like, uh, uh, like pretty much snippets or like he has whole beats that I don't want that he can like, you know, he still has in the boat or he can come back and like tweet. We can work on some shit later or something like that. So it's like we both just constantly just going at it and just working and shit like that. That's so good. It's crazy. Do you feel like you're pretty picky with your beat selection? Very picky. Yeah. Very picky. Um, I think producers starting to not, not hate starting to hate me, but like they be like, I feel like someone be like, all right, bro, come on, pick one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you also gotta think it's like they spend so long making these beats, they think that they're fired. Yeah, you know, I'm like, and I be feeling bad. And you're like, nah. <laughs> I be feeling bad. I be like, mm, like. I'm telling him, like, bro, understand. That's too funny. When, when I, when, when I, if I pick it, then I'm thinking, like, this is going to be the one that's going to take us, bro. Like, like, I'm sorry to, like, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. my no is somebody else's yes. Of course. And then my no could also be later on, yes. I was just tweaking and didn't hear what you heard or didn't hear what I needed to hear. Mm -hmm. But, like, yeah, I'm very, very picky. Very picky. I feel like a lot of people really are nowadays, at least. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, what is your connection to Unfinished Legacy, and what can you kind of tell us about them? Their clothing company, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Unfinished Legacy, uh, man, when I first moved out to Milwaukee, back to Milwaukee in 2018, I was chilling with Ed, and he introduced me to Gene at True School. And at first, he was just like, I just knew him as like a DJ and stuff like that. Then I learned that he also, uh, rap, he make music, and he also uh, designed clothes. And I was like, this motherfucker got a lot of hats. And I'm like, all right, bet. <laughs> and um, he was just coming out with a project. Like he keep calling, it, uh, calling them hacks, it's great. Uh, oh, hats. Hats. Oh, yeah. hats. Oh, God, if I said, <laughs> never mind. Oh, uh, you good. Uh, but uh, he was just like, uh, so he had a project coming out, and 1-800-CASH-NOW, uh, and he was, uh, he was like, yo, I got some shirts, he trying to like, Rock it, blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, bro, I like it. Free shirt, yeah, yeah. And he was gang already, so, like, I'm already, like, cool uh, cool with him. And then he had this uh, tape coming out uh, with the cronies called Crony uh, Tape Volume 1. And he was like, yo, we just, you know, making music, blah, blah, blah. You trying to hop on some songs? I'm like, yeah. So we made, like, maybe four or five songs. I kept uh, maybe, like, three of them. And put them on my other project, Loading in Paradise, and we put the other two on uh, the crony tape. And that's when, so as the crony tape was getting made, he was also printing shirts and making shirts with, like, he already started the Unfinished Legacy stuff, but like, that's when I started like picking up on him and Brimma, like printing the shirts and stuff like that, and they yeah. going crazy. And so like, the cronies is like a music, uh, the music, uh, division or side of the Unfinished Legacy brand. Yeah. And so they push the artists and so they sponsor us, they like, you know, they give us the clothes and stuff like that. We do shows with them and stuff like that. And um, that's, yeah, like, so whenever they call, like, yo, we finna be in LA for this pop-up. Yo, we finna be in New York, New York for this pop-up. Like, yo, from there, yeah, let's yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah. Cause I know it's gonna that's be, sick. I know there's, it's gang, it's love, it's opportunity. And I'm always down like to help them out. And they always down to help me out, so it's like, why not, you know, of show the love. So, yeah, so that, that's my relationship with them. Like, that's like the homies over there, like big brothers, uh, Brimmer and Gene. 
They go crazy. That's the stuff. Yeah. I fucking love their love their clothing. Honestly, yeah, bro. And it's, it's I got the, I got the drip on right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got yeah. the pants and the hat on right now. Um, real quick before we move on to the next one, if anybody's in the IGTV chat, you can put any questions you have for Too High right in this chat bubble down here. We'll an we'll answer them at the end of the show here. So if you got any uh, questions for them, throw them in there. Um, you released your second album, October twenty second, twenty twenty one, called White Lighter, Bad Luck, featuring eleven tracks such as Ghost, Doja, Round and Round, Obstacles, Nightcrawler, Slide, Switch Lanes, Tattoos. Bedroom, Swiss, and White Lighter. This is one of my first projects of yours that I ever looked into and streamed the shit out of Doja. Um, still do to this yeah. day. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite song to make out this album? My favorite song probably was Slide and Ghost. Okay. Slide and Ghost. And you did just release a music video for Ghost too, right? Not too long ago. Yeah, not too long ago, yeah. And now, another thing. Do you know that all, all whiters are actually light or white? Take the wrapping off. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just making. I'm just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah I just. I just love that. I've been in a conversation. Okay. Okay. Uh, so you kind of touched on it a lot already, um, and I just want to give you more of a chance to you know shout out the homies. But do you have a team, friends that you work with on the daily that help you make your art? Yeah. So right now, uh, the main producers I really work with right now is uh, uh, Nobi, that guy Eli. And I mean those are pretty much right now and in the future like I got I got pr producers in my corner and stuff like that. Uh, we haven't really worked yet, but like they got beats where I'm like, damn, like we get the chance to like actually you know hop in the booth or you know write some shit to your shit. Um, and then I got Paper Mill, that's Queen's Terry, that's Wack, that's uh, Shiro, that's Tay Two Three, that's Ed. Um, that's gang, like, we going crazy with the art we making right now, and everybody got projects coming out. Ed just dropped Element. Mm -hmm. uh, the week before I dropped Hey Gang, we going crazy with this shit. Cheryl got some shit coming out. Uh, yeah. Terry, uh, uh, Queese Terry got some shit, uh, and right, like, right. man, he just, bro, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's that song so good. inspires a bitch. <laughs> and then like, um, yeah, like, I got the cronies, Unfinished Legacy, like, yeah, these are the, 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 the main, like, power force behind me that's, like, pushing me, that's helping me. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I like to hear that. that you got a well-rounded team, it sounds like. Yeah. It's vital. Yeah, very much so. Strong. What is, uh, so what's the current studio setup look like? We talked about the old setup where it's just, you know, you guys hanging out in the room and then, oh, press record. What is it kind of the same same vibe nowadays? And what's, what's the equipment looking like now? I'm curious what kind of DAW you're using. Yeah, like, I mean... We using some pretty nice equipment. Like I said, my studio lingo ain't ain't that it ain't that you know. Okay, the DAW is like the audio interface. Audio like interface. FL yeah, Logic. Like, like FL Logic. We yeah, use, like that. Okay, yeah, Pro we tools. use Pro Tools. Pro tools. Uh, okay. I think we mainly use Pro Tools to record uh, at Hi Fi Studios. Um, I think they they use like FL to make beats and stuff like that. Yeah. I think that, that guy Eli. I, yeah. I, I still use uh, FL to record, but like for the most part. If I'm at a uh, high five, I'm using Pro Tools. Gotcha, okay. gotcha. So uh, what what do you want like the listener to ultimately take away from your music, if anything? Um, be free, be you, be high as you want to be, <laughs> and have as much fun as you want to be. And also, just understand, like, yo, I'm human. We're relatable. Like, we're all like, you know, if I can't, like, if you listen to my music and you take something away from it, then obviously we relate to something and just understand, like, you know, everybody who makes music is the same way. You know, you can relate to every artist, so that's pretty much one of the Okay. Take away. All right, nice. Now we're getting into, the, you know, the exciting part, your newest EP, mm -hmm. Hey Gang, dropped September 26, 2022, all platforms, by the way with five tracks such as What's On Your Mind, Backdoor, Deadbeat, New Stick, and All Good. What's the inspiration behind this EP? Man, I, so like after, after having a crazy ass incredible year of 2022. Um, yeah, it's been a crazy year. <laughs> crazy ass fucking year, bro. Like, I was like, bro, I have to, I, like with, and especially with the new sounds I was making, I was like, I have to 
remind motherfuckers like yo we out here yeah, like, yeah. and i was like i want to keep it short simple and sweet i want to give y'all something y'all have to hit replay on like you have to start this shit off from the beginning bro what the fuck he just said why did this end <laughs> exactly it's like Anymore. bro like come on now it's like and yeah i just wanted some like i wanted to a uh remind motherfuckers like yo we here we we still hungry we going crazy yeah it's been the craziest year but like we you ain't seen that you ain't seen shit yet just the beginning and, and it's like gang behind me too they crazy as they crazy as fuck too so that's what i wanted to imply and then uh also that like these new sounds i'm making like i i don't rap like th i haven't rapped like this before and i'm like all right y'all haven't heard shit like this on um, why light about luck i'm finna come out with some crazy like you know hit the bust you up side the head with the glass you know type oh, yeah. music type shit like the yeah. boss shit so that's what i wanted to bring just it's pretty crazy grimy, ass exactly. energy yeah it's just grimy ass energy and then the next shit is just like it's gonna be some smooth ass shit like, like you gonna be singing on that mic everywhere yeah oh <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be some good too high right there i do know so i know you uh don't want to obviously pick favorites but if you had to pick one what track off of this would you say is one that you want people to go listen to after this. What's on your mind? What's on your mind? On it's your a good mind? one. Yeah, that is. That's What's the. Your mind? Man, that flow is just crazy as fuck. I do like the flow. And then it's probably. like it's like, bro, it's like, if you're if you're an artist, like I want I want you to be like looking in the mirror, brush your teeth, like I'm finna after go blood. crazy <laughs> on this shit. I'm finna go. I'm finna kill everybody today. Like this. Like, you know, not really. Oh, but like, yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> but like, yeah, like, I want you to be like, have that energy, like, I can conquer today. And that's like, yeah, that's what I want people to, like, gravitate to. I want y'all to all to play, you know, play all the tracks, course, obviously. Yeah. But like, <laughs> that one's my favorite. I ain't gonna Fuck lie. yeah. That's my favorite. I like that. That's a good answer. And you've been, uh, you've been doing a whole lot recently. Like, the past, what, three or four weeks of your life has been just run, 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 run. All over the map. All over the place. You went to New York City. I think pretty sure you went to L.A., right? Yeah. Uh, all of this, once again, with the with um, Unfinished Legacy mm -hmm. and, um, at some pop-ups. In your opinion, what's the best show that you ever performed? And let us know about your trip to New York. How was it? Oh, man. Uh, the big city. <laughs> so, all you want to do to New York or the show? Ah, no, do the show first. Go ahead, okay. do the show first. My best show probably was... The Wi-Fi funeral show. That shit was like crazy. That shit was crazy as fuck. Was I was so like, weird. and then it was just people in the front row was just like, where y'all you losing y'all shit? Like they were shaking around. He was, I was shaking yeah. the fucking. Half his drink was on the ground. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't even care. I went down to that concert for one song, one song only. Like, <laughs> that was yes. by you. That's and good. you came out just fucking hyped. It was, that it was shit perfect. Was fucking yes. Crazy. Oh. I would say that one, and then. Second best was probably the Miramar show. Well, I'm finna yeah. like Yep. Motherfuckers was crowd surfing. Damn. I saw that. And Damn. I saw the we recap going. with the 3D camera and shit. Yeah, that was we were sick. Going nuts. I was like, this shit is crazy, bro. The crowd <laughs> going crazy. Fuck I was like, yes. I was like, they don't know who I am, but they will. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that shit crazy as fuck. Let's go. That's awesome. Like, yeah, man, that shit was awesome. Um, New York was, New York was smooth as fuck. I actually fuck with New York. It feels like, like a sister city. Like I was like, damn, it's only a three hour flight. I need to be Thank here more. Man. What the fuck? Like, damn, like, and everything is it's so convenient to like just go everywhere and get something. Yeah, like it's everywhere. Like it, anything is everywhere. Uh, the people are that's like, like that's insane. Is that, what am I? That is like, actually bro, insane. Dead ass, like bro. It's like I need a latte. I can literally hit the corners right there. I feel like I'd be so overwhelmed. <laughs> I need to get some weed. Bodega or somewhere <laughs> like you know you're gonna find some. That's it's, crazy. Like, is it legal in New York? Yes. Oh, fuck. They got everything there. We're going to New York, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Next stop. Everything <laughs> everywhere. He Let told me you know, that, bro. Let me know. <laughs> I, I, I tell my people, bro. They yeah. have been some. I was some dope ass people in New York. That's awesome. Um, yeah, man. I was just telling Will like you can survive like off five dollars in New York a day. Really. really? I thought it'd be That's more expensive. Contrary to what I believe. That's yeah. very. Cheat the system, yeah. What do you? Okay. How? Okay. How do you cheat the system? Like that? Dollar, dollar slice, 
You know, oh, really. oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Subway, so there's certain like Subway, you that. can live cheap shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I would I, I would say if you just out there to vacate like to for work and you just an artist like you're a starving artist like me, just bro, you ain't got like a lot of money to spend, just go out there and be like, yo, okay. Let me budget myself and spend only like five to like ten dollars a day. Bro, you can feed yourself all day. Do you have to like really look for those spots that give those deals yeah, though, or are they all stores. over the place? Bro, no. You can look up dollar slice pizza on like Google or some shit. <laughs> oh, or no you, way. Or That's you can awesome. look up, or you can just look up pizza and it was just like uh, uh, advertise it or some shit like that. Or you can just be walking and be like, oh, they sell dollar slices here. And just go in there and be like, okay. babe, let me get some. It's that can be. Yeah, I can definitely live off the house. house. Yeah. 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 Especially in New York. We're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, New York style. So uh, where where can we expect too high in the future? Man, more crazy ass shows, um, dropping crazy ass music. You can catch me on a big screen near you very <laughs> very soon. I'm working on some shit with Will. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was like dozing off before we were talking about it. He was like, hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can just. <laughs> nah, he, he didn't. He didn't smoke any beans. That's right. We good. We good. Uh, yeah, you can just find me at your, you know, your local show. Turn the fuck up. Yeah, like in your drink catch me. Going crazy. So what's the song drop schedule looking like? What you been cooking up? What you scheming? What's coming up next? Man, um, I plan on plan on pushing this shit. Hey gang, for a minute. Okay. And I think I'm gonna drop the beginning of the next year. Beginning of next year. Okay. Beginning of next year. That's when you're gonna start seeing some, some growth, some more growth, some more change and shit like that. Yeah. I um, I want to push this sound, and slowly insert the new sound and just be like, all right, baby, let me, let me get this. So, yeah, once like I think around like, uh, December. January, you starting to hear like some new too high. It might not be released. You probably should hear that only at a show or on Instagram, some shit like that. Like, 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 see that hip hop exclusive will push it for you. Ooh, yeah, let's we'll, get it. We'll get, we'll get you an exclusive. We'll play, 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 play the fuck out of that shit. I already know. That too high, bro. It's be coming out with the features, though. Yes, sir. I have. Yeah, what's a the lot features? Of yeah. features coming out. Are they yeah. like they're gonna, actually coming out? Like I just, I just dropped. Yeah, I just dropped a feature with Zotan. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we know one as well. Yeah, uh, S L V, and then I just dropped before that. Is that out uh, everywhere? Yeah. Okay. On all platforms. Okay. We just dropped that fr last Friday. Okay. And uh, earlier in uh, September, I believe it was like September sixteenth, um, we, me and Jay was uh, I got a one, yeah, one four nine, uh, one four nine five. Mm -hmm. Um, he just dropped uh, his song. Uh, I got a pack. So. Yeah, I got a couple features out here. My boy Shiro and Tay, Ed, we got some shit on the way. I'm and excited Ed, for that. Yeah. Ed got some shit on the way. Like, I'm excited for that shit. Yeah. So I'm looking a little further into the future. Do you have any long-term goals you're working towards? Yeah. Um, my long-term goal is pretty much to make a make it a, 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 like a decent, like actual livable wage, like you know, make some like bread, not for me only, but like gang. I want to make sure like everybody who's in it on the team is getting paid. Like that's that's my long term goal as far as like the next year, like in like year and a year and a half type shit like that. I I want to make sure we execute that and get like actual money for what the fuck we're trying to make. Cause it's like. Niggas is doing jobs that we don't want to actually do, and I'm not Preach talking. To the choir, <laughs> my and, I'm, man. and I'm not talking about like a nine to five. I'm talking about like small shit like editing, photos, video, mm -hmm. shit like that. It's like, all right, bro, I want to do it. I can do it, but I actually want to step in the studio and like get my shit off. I got shit to say. I want to actually like shoot this movie or this this show I've been trying to work on for ages, for years, and shit like that. So, mm -hmm. like, I want to make sure motherfuckers can actually get paid off the shit that they do, like, that we're putting out now to, like, you know, they can constantly just work on this art and craft and shit like that. Because we don't want to, I didn't, you know, I'm not here to 
work a nine to five somewhere for somebody else. I'm here to make my art. Like I want to live off my art, and I know Gang want to do the same. I got homies who got kids, so I'm like, yo, I I want to make sure your kids good. I want to make sure your kids kids good. I don't got kids. My I don't, like I got a dog. I want to make sure. I want to say, yeah, he good. <laughs> I, I want to make sure he continues to be good. Yeah. When he have puppies, I want to make sure they good. So yeah, and like, they're puppies after that. Exactly. They good. Exactly. <laughs> so I just want to make sure everybody in my team is all good. All yeah, straight. Hell oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, man. I love the positive message. That's that's fucking awesome because I, you know, when you have a, and I, I assume your team has like the same ideology behind that. And you have a whole team of people that just want to, they want the team to eat. Like that's yeah. that's the way you're gonna eat. Like that's that's, that's what it is. So if you could choose any Wisconsin artist to collaborate with right now, who would it be? Somebody maybe you haven't yet. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's, that's good add-on. Yeah, you can't just pick Shiro right away. Right, right. I can't pick Gang. <laughs> um, well, you can pick Gang, but it's you know not not as soon. Let me see. I'm sorry, I'm taking so long. No, you're good. Take your time, dog. You're good. Like, this is the end of shit. You're chilling. Uh, let me see. I would say. Damn, that I haven't worked with already. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, <laughs> That's a tough. Let me make that. <laughs> Because I, I, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm exclusive, bro. Like, I mean, it's like so is, somebody you haven't worked with in a while. Let's say yeah, that. We could let's let's, let's make it a little easier for you. That is so easy. I'm sorry. Let's get You're it. good, bro. My boy, my cousin, uh, OGQ. 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 How long yeah. has it been since you guys worked together? We. It's been like probably been like three months. But like oh. we rarely work. I like <laughs> we rarely work. I, we rarely <laughs> work. Like, so like okay. I work all the fucking time. Yep, it's like yep. it's like I don't know if like yeah, like from my point of view, it's like bro, it's been years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like what was that song? You yeah, know what I mean? Like track something. Exactly. Yeah, I know like, you. So That's funny. Yeah, I was I just was expecting like three years. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> all right, so boom, here we go. Oh, okay. I, I got it. Uh my homegirl, OG, uh, OG Lex, Alexa, she's in Atlanta. Okay. Uh, not Atlanta, but uh, Nashville. Okay. And we haven't worked on music maybe since 2018. Okay, that's valid. Okay, yeah. Yeah. okay, okay. That's a valid answer. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, they're both pretty valid, I'll give you that. Because you, are, you said you were exclusive, so it's all right. So uh, what, what would you say is like your dream venue to perform at? Um, Probably... I like some Super Bowl shit. Super, Super Bowl, Bowl shit. Right. Man. I think that's Super the best answer we got yeah, so far. Everybody says yeah. Madison Square Garden. I don't like, you say Super Bowl? Yeah, Fuck yeah, that. Like, That'd be crazy. I don't really watch sports, but like everybody watches the Super Bowl. Right. Exactly. I watch the Super Literally, Bowl. Literally everybody watches the Super Bowl. Those ads go hard. Like, bro, imagine two high at the Super Bowl. Ooh. It's crazy as fuck. Like, come on now. No, I'm God. Revolutionary. So, exactly. <laughs> That'd be so, crazy. Yeah, I think like the Super Bowl. That'd be dope as fuck. Hell yeah. Anything bigger. Man, if we can perform in space by the end. Fuck you. To me, like, like that Rick and Morty episode. <laughs> Show me what you've got. <laughs> <laughs> As we approach the end of the show, I got one more important question to ask, and that is why should people care about Too High? Because I care about y'all. But, man, I love y'all. Man, because literally, like, y'all should. Y'all don't have to care about me. You know what I mean? I just, I appreciate the people who do care about me. And I care about y'all so much. Like, the people who do show up to the show and show me love and shit like that. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, th those people are my superheroes. They, they wear the capes to me. So I'm like, y'all are saving the day for me. Because if it wasn't for y'all, if y'all wasn't here, I'd be like, seen to an empty room and shit like that. Yeah. I'd still be living the dream, doing what I want to do, performing and shit like that. But it's like, y'all, make it look sweet and y'all make it look good and we yeah, yeah. you know what I mean it's like damn that's where I, I had a love and I'm like alright boom I wanna give the love back and stuff like that so like I guess they should care about me because I care about y'all and I wanna make this shit 
possible for me to like give back and do the you know have opportunities for other people. It's to, puppies, puppies, puppies need to be done. <laughs> exactly. And your puppies. <laughs> Boom! Look at that. He's already giving you. He's already giving your puppies something. Come on now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So this is where you can go ahead and just kind of promote anything you want, talk about anything you want. Maybe we missed something. Give some shout outs. You can even ask us questions. Take as much time as you need. It's too high show now. Um, Hey Gang is out. All platforms. My name is Too High. Too H I. It's a deuce and a wave. Hey, hey I, I like that. that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, Shout out the gang, shout out cronies, shout out Unfinished Legacy, shout out Paper Mill, shout out Wag, shout out uh, Hype Soul, shout out the gang, shout out uh, Balance the Void, they don't even go by that name. Um, shout out, shout out uh, Six One Tribe. Um, uh, it's so many, so many motherfuckers out here. Shout out Run Along Forever. Shout out, um, shout out you guys. Shout out CW Hip Hop. What the fuck? Appreciate you know what I mean? You got me here. We, you know what I mean? Um, I'm glad that you are here. Yeah. Uh, like I said, Hey Gang is out. All platforms. Stream that shit. Stream that shit. Do stream it. that shit. Stream that shit. Some hot shit. Some hot shit. Some hot shit. Some hot fire. Um, my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok, all that good shit is I'm. That is I, the letter I, the letter M, underscore. The number two, the letter H, the letter I. Get that shit. Go follow You have no <laughs> excuse not to. Yeah, yeah, now, now you know. It. Now you know. No fucking excuse. You spelled it out for me. Fully. When I edit this, I'm gonna put the cap. I'm gonna like put a caption on the screen as you're spelling it out. <laughs> uh, it's just like, yeah, that, that'd be perfect. That'd be fucking great. <laughs> so, well, thank you. That, yeah, was, thank you. that was a great idea. Right right Fuck yes. What? That was amazing. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. This guy could do the end of, end of the show now. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for listening to CW Hip Hop's podcast, episode 86 with Too High. Uh, we appreciate you making the drive up here. It's a great Thank interview. You, bro. Uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CW Hip Hop. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram at BBNC925. Garky, where can the listener find you at? You guys can find me on Instagram at Garky Gaines, G A R K E G A I N Z, and pretty much any other platform at just Garky. What about you, Prism? You can find me on Instagram and Facebook as Prism Rap, P R I Z M R A P. And you can go stream my music on any streaming platform under the name Prism. Too high. One last time, where can they find the you on all socials? You can find me on. <laughs> I know you just said it like seven times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on all socials at I'm underscore too high. That is two H I. I'm not going to spell it. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. You're just going to pass it into the guest. Yes, sir. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you for joining in. We yes. appreciate that. That's episode 86. Also, thank you to oh, our sponsors, yep, sponsors Northern Noise Mixing Mastering. They're opening up their yes, premier recording studio in Chippewa Valley. It's going to be called Hollywood Recording Company. Their motto is small town, big sound. Follow them on Instagram at Hollywood Recording Company, H-A-L-L-I-E, Wood Recording Company. And message them, let them know CW Hip Hop sent you their way so they know their ads are getting in front of the right people. Also, thank you to Chop Shop Barbershop in Plover, Wisconsin. Are you looking for a unique experience while getting a fresh haircut? Schedule your next appointment at the Garage Theme Barbershop in Plover. More information and a link to schedule your appointment is on our homepage at CW Hip Hop. Also follow them on social medias at Chop Shop Barbershop. And then thank you to our Patreon listener tiers, Danielle and Maverick. We appreciate you guys supporting us. You also get that 10% discount on our merch shop at cwhiphop.com slash shop. If you want to join them, we'll shout you out on every show. Uh, go to patreon.com slash cwhh and join the listener tier. Well, thank you guys so much for listening in. Uh, we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Um, and we also had a couple questions on the end of the Instagram chat here. But we'll do it with the Instagram. Yeah. We don't have to do it on this. We all right. on the, on That's the all Instagram. I got then. Did you have something? No. no? All right. Perfect. Well, thank you guys. Have a great rest of your night. We'll see you next Wednesday. Peace. Peace. Peace.